Beauty is grace, and beauty is mystery, moving on the trade winds of our dreams. Beauty makes us glad to be alive. Beauty is gentle on our minds. You are cordially invited to join top bikini models as they set sail on a series of adventures to the world's most exotic locales. Enter the world of Bikini Destinations. From the beautiful South Pacific to the tropical Caribbean, from the good old USA to the Mediterranean playgrounds of the rich and famous. In the past year, Bikini Destinations took us to some of the most gorgeous locales this planet has to offer. Today is the day we can reflect on our memories and see a year in review. Welcome to the best of Bikini Destinations. I'm Jennifer Brown, your host. First, let's take a look at my favorite destination. Far from our normal oceanside destinations, Lake Pau has a breathtaking beauty all on its own. Warm sandstone rock, contrasted by deep blue waters, makes it a unique setting, which is perfect for our bikini destination models. If there was a perfect place to film women in bikinis, that was probably it. Because it's, uh, you got the beautiful rock formations, you have the water, you have the light that comes in off the water, and when it goes down and you have that afterglow, it's about as amazing as any place I've ever seen. And Lake Powell covers hundreds of miles. We just set off with a map and you just look for little places to pull off, you know, camp and where you can shoot. You go off in these beautiful locations and you're, there's nobody around. You have the whole place to yourself. It's a fantastic place to shoot. beautiful. I don't think I've ever been to a more beautiful place. It was absolutely one of my favorite shoots I've ever done. I shot with Simone. When the afterglow was happening and the light was down and her hair was wet and we were lighting her, and uh, just the look of her face and her eyes and having that Indian heritage at Lake Powell with the water dripping and, and the, just the perfect lighting, that stands out. That just was probably one of my favorite shots. That just jumps off the screen. the opportunity to go to Rainbow Bridge to shoot underneath and that was absolutely amazing. I mean, that's God's world. It's just gorgeous. The bridge went from one and stream going behind us. It was really a beautiful place. Somewhere I'll never forget.
shooting for over 20 years, so I've watched uh, cameras evolve quite a bit. And uh, it's a real pleasure to work in high definition. It's uh, amazing pictures. And if you're watching HDNet right now, you'll see, you know what I'm talking about. Shooting high definition video is a treat. It's a real treat. You really show the model in a different light. And working with Casey Bennett was amazing. He, uh, he really directs very well. He's really a great person to work with. And we've gotten some amazing shots, shots that you can never. I think bikini destinations could go on a long time. I mean, there's so many. Uh, without trying to recreate the wheel, just take these beautiful women in beautiful locations, shoot beautiful shots in high definition. It's uh, not rocket science, but it's something I think viewers would like to watch. We've all heard the old saying, what happens in Vegas? Days in Vegas, but not now, because we're going to show you what happened when our bikini destination models made their way to Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Over the years, I have shot probably 200 girls in Las Vegas from Hawaii Tropic Pageant. So, in Las Vegas, we filmed at different hotels, and like at the Tropicana, they had these great waterfalls, and the back section that they call it the island. lush areas where you'd never think you're in Las Vegas. The way we shot it, you'd think you're in some island someplace. We... So there is a whole different look. And they had these balls of fire coming up behind the girls. And these just enormous structures and waterfalls and it's a completely different look but it's really lent itself to high definition. And there's various backdrops in Las Vegas like the Bellagio has these fountains, you got Caesar's Palace that has a great pool area we shot there. Uh, we shot at uh, Monte Carlo Hotel at this waterfall in front and back of the hotel. We shot in the neon lights but just out of the strip where you had the Las Vegas sign there and we shot with that in the background. In Las Vegas you prefer to shoot at night, at least I do. I mean, this is Las Vegas, you don't want to shoot. So we spend most of our time shooting at night. From like when everyone else is done working, we just start shooting. Bikini Destinations will be right back. Contrary to Sin City, our next location needs to be explored during its peak beauty. From sunrise to sunset, Bikini Destinations models will guide us through this jewel of the Caribbean. Colors speak all languages, and nowhere is the vocabulary so lush and so alive as in the Bahamas, an archipelago of 700 islands and keys starting 50 miles off the Florida coastline. During the 1700s and the golden age of piracy, the likes of Blackbeard, Henry Morgan, and Anne Bonner dropped anchor off these shores. And the treasures of this empire of sun and water are as evident today as they were 250 years ago. An old pirate legend says that at eventide, when the sun spills over the horizon like Goombay punch, mermaids held vigil at the edge of the reefs. Believe it or not. Good afternoon everybody! You guys are going out sailing today. 
on an America's Cup boat, some of the biggest, most powerful racing boats in the world. I'm excited. If I go overboard, I've got this little handy dandy life vest. Now then, today, you'll be wearing a suspender for me. No, don't pull the red cap. If you were to fall overboard, these inflate automatically. You won't even get your hair wet, I promise you. Pull this red thing, like this. Take my hand, and I want a sailor's grip, okay, around the wrist. And then you are going to crew the boat. With my full-time experience crew, they're going to have you out there grinding. You're going to be getting a little wet out there. It's going to be wild. These boats that we have, the one you're going racing on today is NZL10, known as the White Boat. She's a New Zealand boat and she raced in the 92 America's Cup in San Diego. America's Cup boat and we actually got to crew the boat. We got some really rough waters and they were like, okay, Victoria, get in there and, and steer. <laughs> I was like, what? What do I do? But it was great. It was a lot of fun. We got to actually do the grinding and you get to steer the sail. That was really, really, really cool. It was very exciting, very exhilarating, and I was scared and happy all at the same time. That was absolutely incredible. That was the most exciting thing I've ever done. Scattered across the vivid blue waters of the South Pacific, the Hawaiian Islands appear as a giant emerald necklace. We chose to visit Maui, Oahu, and the big island of Hawaii. Their lush and exotic beauty provided a perfect backdrop for our own beauties of bikini destinations. we went to with all the exotic trees was Hapuna Beach and it was really beautiful and then we got some great shots out there and we had a lot of fun. Oh, the tree on the beach was so beautiful. It um, reminds me of a place near home, but it's just, it was amazing. And I liked climbing up it, too.
there's no place finer than the Turtle Bay Hilton and the, and the Waikoloa Hilton here on the Big Island to shoot because the beauty of Hawaii is all right here. You just couldn't ask for a better location to shoot, a better backdrop than the back scenes of our beautiful girls from all over the world. I would imagine in 17 years, we've probably had maybe uh, 900, 800, 900 girls that have been involved with the pageants as far as the shooting of the calendars or the ads that have to do with the promotions of the company, because we use girls from all over the world and we travel all over the world doing promotions. That's Hawaiian Tropic Beauty right there. Next, we go behind the scenes with Casey Bennett for his director's perspective on the making of Bikini Destinations Map. It's like breaking good today, so it creates a great backdrop. It's amazing. The, nothing like the waves flying behind them. The sultry girls moving slowly, the waves crashing behind them. Can't be that. When I'm out there, out lying on the pool or on the rock, just try to make it look very sexy and sensual and, you know, make it look like you're having a good time and the sun's beating on your face, so it's like, it makes it look like it's really hot, steamy. And that's what men like. <laughs> it's nice to get them out and rolling around the sand and they, they move a lot better and they, they like playing and I found they like getting their hair wet and rolling around in the sand, getting all sandy. For whatever reason, they love to do that. First off, the girls have to feel comfortable. If they don't feel comfortable and they got somebody yelling at them, it doesn't work. They, they just, you know, they look a little more stressed. As long as they're happy and comfortable, you'll get much better footage. If, you, if you're all stressed out, if a guy shooting them is all stressed out, they're gonna get all stressed out, and then just all of a sudden, they're just everything's all tense, and it just doesn't work. But if you slowly get into it and, you know, get to know them a little better before you start working with them, they're more relaxed, it's more fun. They get, authentic smiles as opposed to <laughs> and so <laughs> we love Casey <laughs> Casey's so much fun he makes the model feel very comfortable you know he'll dance around and he'll be if you know if he doesn't like something he's like oh I'll just try something new but he's never condescending or anything like that he just wants the model to be totally comfortable and you know I think a model or any photographer or um, videographer shoots the best feels the best when, you know, you're at complete comfort. So, you know, he maintains that total friendship comfort level. Casey's awesome. Uh, the shots are good. They're really good. They're going to get better as the night progresses. Because once you can control the light a little easier using light, that's when you get the really good stuff. But, I mean, look at this place. I mean, are you kidding me? Is there a better place to shoot than this? If you slowly pan that way, you can see where I am and what that, and adjacent where that is. Look at, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Come down here, move it up, and look through it. Okay, like this. You come bring it up and go like that. Yeah, you kind of, you know, like this. You've done that. It's good. It's hard because it's on a slant. You can't really tell, but it's on a slant, so it's very difficult to to like lie down there and just sit on there. But once you get in position, you gotta really hold on, otherwise you can fall. California is not simply a coastline. Majestic deserts blanket huge tracts of the Golden State, where the earth fans out in austere lines and magnificent distances, and where the dunes roll toward the horizon. To gaze over these silent sands is to understand desolation and the desert's arid power to bleach the bones of the strongest man. And yet Bikini Destinations found a few women who seemed to thrive on the dry lake bed of El Mirage, a parched never-never land that for still photographers and film producers 
has remained a favorite for over half a century. Ancient desert explorers looked out over the loneliest land on Earth and were awestruck. In the cusp of the dwindling day, fantastic mirages danced in the heat waves rippling across the desert. Dreams, hopes, and imagination mingled just out of reach, beyond the last thought, walking in the distance. The world has always had its dreamers, and for many, California remains the best place on earth to pursue those dreams. Some contend that the one true heart of these dreams beats in California girls. And once again, the Beach Boys said as much 40 years ago. I've been all around this great big world and I've seen all kinds of girls. Yeah, but I couldn't wait to get back in the States, back to the cutest girls in the world. I wish they all could be California. I wish they all could be California. I wish they all could be California girls. Other states and other lands. So perhaps California is simply the fertile ground in which beauty can fully blossom. Bikini Destinations will be right back. San Tropez in the French Riviera is a place to see and be seen. Let's join some of our Bikini Destination models now on some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Bienvenue en France, the land that gave us Cézanne, Renoir, and Monet, as well as Champagne and Brie, de Beauvoir and de Bussy. Bikini Destinations recently took a stroll down the Laurel Sentier and into the French Riviera, a name symbolizing style and elegance, with a legacy of romance reaching back to the time of Russian czars and caviar nights now lost in time. The reputation of the French Riviera as a retreat for beautiful people refuses to go away, as do the beautiful people themselves. Here on the Côte d'Azur, or Blue Coast, the chic and wealthy have, for many generations, images cherished around the world still prevail in the gardens and beaches of this sunny strip of coastline, sandwiched between the foothills of the Maritime Alps and the Azure Mediterranean. Artist Edgar Degas had a genius for capturing the fluid movements of ballerinas. Shame the Frenchman couldn't have been on hand here to work up a few sketches of the Bikini Destinations girls. <laughs> Though in Edgar's absence, we decided to move outdoors and try our hand at the work in high definition. The incomparable Pierre Renoir emphasized the natural gestures of his subjects, believing the simplest things were eternal. That the unadorned woman, whether she emerged from a sidewalk cafe or from her own maison, was Venus herself. And that no one's imagination could conceive of anything better. And to the immortal Frenchman we say, oui, monsieur. 
and to the French Riviera and the girls of bikini destinations, we say au revoir. Svelte, sizzling, and ready for action. Miami's South Beach is a feast for your senses. Characterized by the pastel shades and neon brights of its famed Art Deco district, wide white sand beaches, and endless sunny days. America's Riviera is mecca for the world's beautiful people who flock here to see and be seen and enjoy an abundance of ocean activities, fabulous shopping, penetrating heat, and a nightlife that never sleeps. Shopping here takes on an entirely new meaning at the unique boutiques of Ocean Drive. The hot club of the moment is always changing, but the key to hitting the circuit remains the same. Dress to kill and get your attitude going. Today, the Bikini Destinations models explore all that South Beach has to offer. Embarking on an up-close and personal visit with alligators at the Everglades National Park. And speeding along the Atlantic in a cigarette boat. Walk on the wild side as Bikini Destinations tours one of the hottest spots on the planet, Miami's South Beach. I might have to get one. These models are not only among the most beautiful, they're also among the most courageous models I've ever seen. Uh, they went right into swamp and on cue like that. Come on in, and they were right there with a face to face with a. Fortunately for me, I got the opportunity to come out and, you know, enjoy my day in the Everglades with five beautiful women and, of course, uh, animal experts like Manny Quegg. So we had a lot of fun. It was a good time. They got in the water with the alligators. That's where I like to be, so I had a lot of fun. They were good sports. draws to a close, and Bikini Destinations took us for a ride to the beautiful and exotic. But don't worry, there are plenty of gorgeous girls and more beautiful locations, so we'll be back for another year of what we do best, bring the world to you. Thank you, and keep on watching.